rescuers drawn from the Kenya Red Cross National Youth Service, Nairobi County Council, and Kenya Defense Forces have been working around the clock, buoyed by the hope of finding more survivors. It has been nine days of thoroughly searching through debris of the ill fated six story Ruma residential building, resulting in the rescue of 14 people and nine domestic animals. The National Disaster Management Unit that was coordinating the mission says it has wound up operations at the site. Wale watu walipatikana wakiwa hai 140. Wale inasemekana wale wafariki kutoka hapa walikuwa 49 lakini kuna uwezekano kuna watu wawili wanaongezeka namba ipande kitoka mpaka 51 lakini nangojea kukoja kupata report kutoka kwa polisi. Designated Incident Commander Pius Misai confirmed that the death toll of the tragedy now stands at 51 after two more people succumbed to their injuries Sunday at the Kenyatta National Hospital. And as the rescue team scales down their mission to concentrate on the nearby Nairobi River, survivors of the tragedy are still confounded by the disaster. Na sisi tumekubali na tumeshukuru Mungu tumepata watu yetu wote saba. Sisi hatuna neno. Tumeshukuru ile ambao Mungu alitenda juu. Hii ni njia ya kila mtu. Tulie, tukose kulia, tuwezi amusha hawa. Monica Kenyi lost seven family members and only survived because she arrived home late. Hiyo nyumba ilianguka na family yetu. Kasini yangu, dada yangu, watoto wake na wajuku. Wote walikufa saba. A few meters away, Mwikali is in agony. Nikafika, nikachukua kifungua, kufika hapa kwa stias, nikasikia roo yangu inakataa kupanda. Nikakuta, nikamuambia roo yangu inakataa kupanda nchu. Wacha nisipande hiyo ngorofe inasanguka nikiwa nchu. Sia, kaniambia ni mpatia kifungu, haende ju. Hakaenda, haka panda. Venya alipanda, ndiyo ngorofe ilianguka. Hopes of finding her husband of five years alive are all but diminished. Yes, nasikia kuna watu walikimbia na pia wanjulikani kwenye walienda. Niko na hope that you anaweza kuwa kwa katikati ya watu. Meanwhile, in the wake of the tragedy, the has once again cast the spotlight on the substandard construction of residential buildings. The county government of Nairobi has given tenants of such houses in Uruma seven days to find alternative accommodation. Close to 78 houses in the area have been earmarked for demolition with 10 of the buildings already brought down. Search and rescue operations have been terminated in this particular site where the collapsed building was, giving in way to rescue and search operations along the river in a bid to locate 28 people who are still missing after some of the victims' particulars were found along the river. Reporting for Channel 1 in Huruma, I'm Linus Moshugadi.